Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. We're going to be talking about the UGC storefront. If you don't know what the UGC storefront is, basically, instead of using buttons as in like consumable buttons and currency buttons, now you can actually just use one whole screen looking. Is this like a screen? So it's actually pretty easy how to make this kind of yourself and put it in your own room that you will build or that you want people to start buying stuff in. To actually make one of these, basically first you want to go and grab your palette and then all you want to do is just make sure to go to your search bar, easy as it does, and you, then you want to search up storefront. To search up store or put storefront the whole name and you will see this tab right here and then press storefront and press create and then you'll get something like this. You press configure on it and then it'll go to your configure tab and then if you want to edit storefront, here it'll be. You can make it frozen, you can have it have certain tags. You can make sure it's on nav mesh, get generation mode, respawn, and high during games uh, as usual. Press edit, and then right here, as you can see, it will say empty shelf. So add a carousel, and then say I want to add this mommy one. Ooh, 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 ooh. You can also make currencies, consumables, and keys. As you can see, it will go to the right side of the selected items tab, and then all you have to do is press update. As you can see, you can also move it side to side. So if like some, if one was right here, and you want the first one to go here instead, and this and mommy to go in the second one, then you can just move it by clicking one of these two, and pretty much yeah. If you want to add two carousels, basically like say I'm going to add two. And then now there is two carousels. This will be most, the one that's mostly on the top will mostly be shown on the front and everything else. And then the only people, only time when people will see the bottom one will go to view more. And how to edit this name right here, the carousel name goes here. All you have to do is press configure, edit storefront and press rename. And then I says, what would you like to change your name carousel to? So as you can see, I say two. So I would say put, say I'm going to put the word peace here. And then say, I was like, you know, what? let's save the name. Now we have peace two, and then mommy. And then if you can see here, if you press more again, now I'll say peace. Now, if you don't know actually how to make consumables or actually how to make keys or currencies, I'll show you real quick. Here's the time lapse to skip all this so we can continue with the video and yeah. To actually make a consumable, you want to go to your palette tab and then again go for your search bar and then you want to hit store again. This is a better way or you could just type in consumable. As you can see, I already have a consumable one right here. All I had to do is press configure. As you can see, it says configure. Use my maker pen on it. And then as you can see, choose an existing consumable. I already have some, but we can create a new consumable right here. All we have to do is just type in a name. All we have to do is just type in a name that has three characters, a description. Must be at least 10 characters. And if I was in RR Plus, I would make sure that this consumable will actually cost. So make sure to, if you want to make sure it costs, all you have to do is just, it will go to zero to a thousand as you can see with these. Keys and currencies are the same way as consumables. All, all it is is that this time you need to be R or plus member. So I can't really do it on my uh, alt account. If you do need, if you do need some questions, just comment down below. I'll probably help you as fast as I can. But besides that, please don't worry too much on it. Anyway though, uh, mostly that this screen is more helpful than the button I believe because to be honest now you can add keys and currencies on here and not only just consumables as you can see with this one. You can always make different UGC storefronts as you can see here this one says subscribe to Mr. Caesar and like the video and uh, 11 I forgot to and if we go all the way over here you can see that there's a different one the one that we were actually working on and it has a different carousels so it's like a basically like regular gas station you you will see a shelf this is that but on a screen with that being said at least now you know how to use the ugc storefront and actually how to put stuff on the ug storefront you can always scale it where it's this low or or you can always make it big and huge how to actually buy stuff from the ugc counter store is basically you have to click on one of the things say i want to click mr caesar you know he's an icon it's only the 83 tokens so if i buy it it'll make sure to take the money and it will give me the consumable if i want to go see what else is on sale like say if i want to click here i can also show you here the carousel name goes here of course another carousel name goes here and say i want to get daddy you know probably he went to go get milk and i want him to come back you know then i could buy it for uh nine thousand and nine hundred ninety nine tokens um, I did have other icons here, but right now they're not showing up and I do not know why. There was a currency button here and there was a keys button here and it was called I forgot to and the other one was something else. 
but I, I, I really don't know what happened here, but you always gotta check out just in case, probably just refresh your room or update your room and see if it works there. But if that keeps happening, I'll try to find a solution and I'll leave it in the comments. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, really don't know what else to say. This is just, again, like a shelf or the rec, rec center item shop. There's not much to say about this, but it's mostly just an how-to video. So I just kind of went with that. Um, I did see my subscriber count lately and I do want to thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers. I am not, I am going to make a video of rec room item and I'm just going to do a lot for the 1k special because it does mean a lot to me that I even got here and now I'm kind of like, tr I'm trying to work but you guys are not giving me enough watch time so I'm using rec room updates to milk some content but now I'm joking. <laughs> I really do thank you guys for uh, watching my videos and subscribing to me and thinking that I'm a pretty cool dude and um, all the fan fans I met right now. Um, I'm not going to make a full message, I'm going to leave it for the 1k sub special, but um, I'm not going to ruin this video with my 1k sub special. So hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, coming soon, coming soon, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Right, peace.